Hello. In today's video, I would like to look into how to hide specific input controls when rendering your reports and ad hoc views with Visualize.js API. This can be useful when you need to render your reports with input controls, but still hide some of them from the end user. If we check the uh, Visualize.js API reference guide in the input control section, we will find a method for rendering report input controls, but this only applies to the entire set of the controls associated with the report. There is no separate methods to render individual controls or to hide individual controls when rendering with Visualize, so we'll have to handle that on the client side. One thing I would like to note is that the approach suggested in this video is not positioned as the best, but it is definitely quick and relatively easy one. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use one of the samples from the Visualize.js Live Sample Guide. And I'm going to go to the Input Control Sample section. And I will use the basic embedded report with controls. Okay, there it is. And, and here are the controls rendered to the report using the v.inputcontrols method. So what we want to do is, for example, render all of these controls, but hide the topmost one, the product family. So the first thing we will do is open the browser developer tools and we're going to ignore this exception because it's not related to our use case. And we will going we're going to inspect elements and we want to find the element which is the entire control with the label and the list of values, basically everything. And this will be the div that corresponds to this whole section. And what we are interested in is the class of this div. So the approach that I'm going to take is search through the divs on the page which correspond to this class and in addition to that I will also filter out the divs by the um, by the label used for input control and I will use the, these two conditions to hide the control from display and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a built-in event for report rendering and there are a number of events which can be used for this purpose and there is a separate article on our wiki which has a list of entire events but the one that I'm suggesting to use is page final which basically uh, allows you to add uh, the entire HTML page markup once it's ready for rendering, but before it's actually rendered. So we will add the page final event. And it will be a function, a lambda function. We're not going to pass any values here. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a uh, set of divs on the page and I'm going to I'm going to basically assign the entire array uh, entire set of all the div tags to the to my array divs and I'm going to use the method get element by tag name div and for this uh, example I'm using just plain JavaScript of course you can use jQuery or any other language which works best for you and I'm going to use very basic JavaScript syntax 
And the next thing I'm going to do is to loop through the uh, this entire array of divs. And as I said, we're going to look at two conditions. First, we're going to check if the current div is the class that we are looking for. And we'll probably want to change the dimensions to make it more readable. And the second condition we want to look at is basically I'm going to look through the entire inner, inner HTML of the div of this class and see if I can find the um, the name of the specific input control inside the div because I know that name is going to be unique on the page. So I'm going to I'm going to hide the element with the name product family and this will be this input control. wrong sign. Okay, so if both of these conditions are true, we're going to need to hide this div. And the way we, we're going to do that is I'm going to add a custom CSS class. I'm going to call it hidden control. And all it's going to do is hide the element which this class is assigned to. And I'm going back to the script. And when the conditions are true, I'm going to add my custom heading control class to this div. And let's try to rerun and see what happens. Nope, it didn't work. Now let's check the get element by tag name is not a function. That is correct because we're looking for get elements by tag name. And let's try again. And there we go. The product family control is not displayed anymore. Now, before wrapping up, I would like to also mention that similar to page final, you can also use report completed method, report completed event, or before render event, and use essentially the same code and all of these events will do the trick. However, in my uh, use case and overall in my testing, I found that the page final event works the most smoothly when trying to hide elements. So to recap, what we saw in this video is how to hide specific input controls based on the div element class and the input control label on the client side using the report rendering events. And here I am showing the links to the resources which we used in this video, the API reference guide, and the report rendering events article on JasperSoft community wiki. And you should be also able to find both of these links in the video description.